How do Muslims get married? Okay, well, first of all, my father would come up to me and tell me who I'm going to marry, and that's it. End of story. Well, not exactly true. So there is no such thing as a forced marriage in Islam. But what we do do is spend a whole bunch of money and have this big, huge, lavish wedding with elephants and giraffes and the whole deal. It's crazy. I never had elephants and giraffes at I'm, my wedding. I didn't have any money, so... <laughs> Kidding, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't have any money. <laughs> Not joking about that part, but the rest of it, yeah. Okay, so as for the Muslim marriage, it is very simple, you guys. When we got married, we just went to the mosque. We had some witnesses there. Uh, we had an exchange of something that is called a meher, which is basically... Mahar. Mahar. Can't pronounce it properly. Which is basically anything I demand of him. It could be a house. It could be a car. It could be a cat. It could be anything. Um, so that exchange hmm. is done, and then we say... I do, I do, I do. That's it. Yep. We're married. And it is also tradition to have a walima, which is where the male, the man, the male, the male man will <laughs> basically have a dinner for a small group of people or That's a large right. group, depending how much money you got. Again, That's right. I didn't have any, so it was pretty small. 